So, am I rolling? All right, so here we have this lovely room where we're going to be filming our video about hot air balloons. And as you can see, um, this is an ancient Chinese study lounge uh, with bamboo tables and the um, chairs are made out of fireworks. And uh, I don't know what else what the Chinese invented. They invented a bunch of stuff. They invented hot air balloons and we made one of those about that. <laughs> One of the first accounts of the hot air balloon being used in uh, China comes from about the Three Kings period around the year 230 AD when uh, military strategist Zhuge Liang was, he was a politician and military strategist and was dying out on the front with his troops and at, before he died he designed a, he designed what's basically the first hot air balloon. He took a oil lamp and placed it inside of a paper bag which caused the paper bag to float into the air and it was used as sort of a little trick to, you know, strike fear to the heart of their enemies. Supposedly their enemies felt as if they had some sort of divine help because they had this light floating in the air from the other side. One of the most important design features of our balloon project was how to actually make the balloon. We ended up going for a, what they call a tetrum shape, a triangle balloon. And it's, while it ends up with a very complex shape, it's actually very simple to make from a single sheet of paper. Um, you start with a sheet of paper about twice as long as it is tall and form a cylinder out of it. And in this demonstration, I'm gonna use tape, though in reality we'd use some sort of rice paste or glue of some sort. Then, we sealed off the top one way and the bottom the other way. The end result is a four-sided triangular pyramid that has a fairly large volume to surface area ratio, which is desirable for hot air balloons. Um, while it's not the most ideal shape, it is by far the simplest one to make out of a single sheet of paper, and so it's quite probable that they would have done it this way. Once we've got our balloon envelope created, we need some way of holding the heat source in the middle of the balloon here. So, we created a frame out of these large bamboo poles. We suspected bamboo would be used for this because it's very light, very strong, and Lots of it grows in all around Asia, South America, just about everywhere other than Vermont. Um, these poles, however, are too strong. So what we did was we split the poles in half when they would bend much more and would be much lighter. Uh, still though, these are difficult to bend, so we soak them for a long period of time while we're able to bend them into a full circle to put around the uh, opening of the balloon. Then we formed another cross piece to hold off the flame source. The problem with bamboo though is that it's very dry, it's got these little papery bits that burn quite easily, so what we did was we took some fresh bamboo, cut a small section of it, and actually raised the heat source above the cross piece a little bit so the flames would not hit the bamboo cross piece. So the uh, fuel source for the ancient Chinese hot air balloon usually would either be some kind of oil lamp suspended in the balloon or some sort of papery substance soaked in the wax. Now we decided not to go with the oil lamp solution because that has poses its own set of problems and instead decided upon the waxy paper solution. Now the hot air balloon that we bought to test the principle of this used uh, some sort of piece of paper soaked in, we're assuming some sort of paraffin wax, and well, when I tried to find where to get paraffin wax, I either found it through uh, some sort of 
spa treatment wax or through sketchy Chinese chemical distributors and why that might have been a bit more authentic we decided it was a little easier just to go with candle wax. So as you can see here, this is a what we're going to be using as our fuel source. It is a piece of paper towel that has been folded up and soaked in molten candle wax. quite well. It burned for maybe a good 10 minutes or so and then it still had some fuel left in it afterwards. So we're pretty sure that this will be able to light the, get the balloon airborne, hopefully. dry timbers into them and light them on fire. Then the burning kindling would heat up the air in the eggshell and the egg would fly away. We tried this several times and could not get the egg to even fall over so much as fly into the air. Well, after our initial failure with the egg trick, we tried to perform a uh, little known party trick that's used actually in modern times that uses a similar principle where you take a tea bag, empty out the contents, secure one of the ends shut, and then light part of it on fire. Now as the bag burns itself, the air inside heats up and it will shoot into the air like a little hot air balloon. And there's plenty of video evidence of this being possible on YouTube and other places. However, when we tried it ourselves, we were not as... start at first we got took us a little while to get the um, to get the balloon to get the fuel source lit and um, thought it was gonna be okay it started burning pretty well but it was just too windy tonight to really really get it to work I mean the balloon sort of blew in on itself and part of the frame caught on fire and that's when it's a problem the wet bamboo holding it up that worked just fine but the dry bamboo just it burned through and it would have you know, caught on fire and the fuel source, you know, you don't want a giant flying flame fireball, so we put it out. It seemed pretty clear that the balloon flight could have worked, that we could have got this up thing up in the air, but the wind was just too much. And if they were going to fly this thing back in ancient China, they would have needed almost no wind. Every single little gust caused the flame to fly all over the place, and just keeping the balloon from catching on fire was quite a trick. We're definitely... If we had no wind, which it looks like we will have in a couple days, we could have got this thing up in the air. But but with this much wind, it was it was pretty much doomed to never fly. <laughs> 